got some QA1 install video continuance going on right now. Uh, as you can see, we got Mr. Lofton 1972 Impala. Keep in mind that I learned from Mr. Lofton that 72 was the last year they made a convertible Impala. News for the day, thought for the day. But anyway, we have a 72 Impala coming together. You can see Mr. Rich, we got the defenders on, we got a radiator support on, everything is not adjusted. That's what we're doing now, pretty much adjusting everything. But once we got that on, and next we can see fender work uh, for the clearance for the wheels. But with, with that being said, we're gonna install the QA1 front suspension system. We're gonna do fitment, fitment, fitment as we always do. Um, once we get everything on, we can kind of get a, you know, give you our opinion of how we, you know, how it fits. Obviously, if you looked at the product, they look amazing, you know. So the next step is getting everything on, getting everything bolted up. Uh, Mr. Lofton has the bear brakes um, also for this car, so we're gonna put the bear brakes with the new spindle. Obviously, if you remember from TY car install, uh, all of that stuff comes together as one piece already assembled. So all we got to do is attach the upper and lower control arm to it and it's bolted down and it's ready to go. So we do have the full kit. When I say full kit, that's upper and lower control arms. Uh, that's all brand new suspension components, your center link, in and out of tie rods. But also QA1 comes out with a more robust, uh, probably I think it's a two inch or an inch and a half sway bar that comes along front and rear with the kit. So we're gonna put the sway bar on, just you know, kind of get a total fitment of it and then put the 26s back on it. And at that point, now we can go back to, you know, adjusting the wheel well for clearance. Uh, we also always use the factory outer piece, just trim a little pie cut in, get what you need out and then bring it back and weld everything up and it'll still retain the factory mount locations for the wheel wheels. Real clean install. So that's what our goal is, super clean. You won't notice it. Everything still fit and looks as if it's come from the factory, but you have that little bit of, you know, interclearance 26s. So these are my original 26s that was on the Caddy. Uh, we just put a brand new set of tires on them as well. So I might be interested, guys, in selling these wheels. They forges, three piece, 26. Yeah, 26 is three inch lip in the front, five in the back. So I don't know. Maybe I might keep you guys posted. If you're interested, let me know. Y'all might get me. Y'all might get me, you know, into a business deal. Who knows? And we can paint to match you. Yeah, oh yeah. And Mr. as Mr. Rich said, we can paint it to match your ride. Don't let the candy brandy wine fool you. That could be your gangster green. If your car is gangster green, that could be your gangster green on there as well. So hello. <laughs>
Now we just gotta come back and remodel it and you know put in the new appliances, the new refrigerator, you know. And take it all apart and make it ready. And then this part right here, Mr. Rich, is what they don't sell. Yeah, that's what you gotta say. This right here. You can't get that on. The pitman arm. Yeah. This is the idle alarm here. You can get this one new. The pitman arm, uh, they, they actually missing. I think they missing this on D car. Yeah. So and they don't sell it new. So it's something you gotta source used. So if you guys take this car apart, remember this pitman arm. You can't get new. So keep that. Keep hold of that yeah, whenever don't you do that. take it apart. <laughs> so. Here comes the fun part.